Hi guys, um, Bling Bong Studios here again. This is a long-awaited tutorial on Virtual Dub that I know a lot of you have been pestering me about. Like uh, BLG Studios. So yeah, I'm just gonna start. Virtu yeah, and another thing about Virtual Dub, you don't install it. It comes in a um, a, z a zip file, so you just extract all the files, and then you've got. Um, you've got the file here. You can basically put it anywhere. I've got mine in um, a memory stick, so it just stays there. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, start it up. In in case you have no idea what Virtual Dub what Virtual Dub does, it basically crops your video if you want it to to make it um, widescreen. And if you want it, if you want it to go further, you can basically um, give it a letterbox, which is make sure, uh, which is basically what um, the it's the black bars that you see above films and stuff. So, so I'm just going to open a file uh, from Depression. So yeah, you'll be seeing a. Um, clip from depression here as well okay so you can see here it's 640 by 480 which is the previous video size and I'm gonna crop it to 640 by 360 pixels which makes it widescreen okay video I go to video and then filters and then add and then I find then I find null transformation Tra null transform there. Okay, I've got that. And if you don't know your video size, it's here anyway. Six forty times four eighty. Right, press um, cropping now. Look at this again. Now. All you have to worry about here is the Y1 offset and Y2 offset around here. There's going to be a bit of mass involved here. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, to get your to get it to get the um off so y1 and y2 offsets right you have to calculate do a bit of calculating so get your calculator in your right hand get your left hand to press the buttons and you're all set okay if you don't already know the width or well you should do by now so use the width of your video and divide it by 16 so I'm going to do 640 divided by 16. And then multiply that by 9 times 9. 360. Now that's going to be the how high the video is if, if you forgot that I told you earlier on in the tutorial. So um yeah that's how high it's going to be. Okay, now I'll get now I'll do um the height. Now yeah, sub subtract this number from your height. 480 minus 360 equals 120. Divide this by 2. And this is what you put in the Y1 and Y2 offsets. Sixty. Sixty in this one. And then down here.
60 in this as well. Now, as you can see, it's already cropped it to what I want it to do. Obviously, you can mess around with these to get the um, to get the cropping right if you want to. So, if you want to crop, if you want to crop this bit a bit more and, and uncrop this to get his legs in or something, then you can do that. I think. Right, you press OK and OK again, and it cropped. You don't you don't see it here, but now this is all you want to do if um, you're cropping to get uh, widescreen in YouTube, because if you give it letterboxes, then it it just won't work. It's just going to ruin your video on YouTube, and you don't want that unless you um, crop the this video even more and then put letterboxes in it's not going to work on YouTube so what you can do is go to file you go save as AVI and it basically renders your footage and you've got the, the same scene that you had before it's just been cropped to to a, the, the um, widescreen ratio but if you want to give it letterboxes so um, I don't know for playback on your computer you open the filters box again here yeah. and so 640 times 360 and you've got to remember that okay and then you go to add and choose resize filter resize I'm going to here, then go here, letterbox to, act to aspect ratio, 4, 3, and then black, because I, I, why would you want to change the colour? Um, yeah, 4, 3 is probably the best aspect ratio to crop it to. And then, okay, okay again. And it's been cropped. I don't know if you can see a bit of it here. That's what it's going to look like in the end. But then you know, now you shouldn't have done this if you wanted to crop this for YouTube because it's not going to work as I told you before. Then you go to file and save as AVI, and then it should export it how you want. So yeah, this is this is how to use Virtual Dub for what for cropping for cropping and adding letterbox I hope you've learnt a bit when virtual dub is free so you can just download it and use it for whatever for free so that's good most of the programs that I use are free so yeah if you've enjoyed this tutorial and gained something from it please leave a comment and rate it five stars and if there are other guys that you, th other brick filmers that you think, or uh, yeah, anyone for that matter, because it doesn't have to be brick filming that this can be used for. If there's anybody that you think could gain from this sort of thing, pass it on. Yeah, the more people who find this useful, useful, the better. So yeah, there's more. There's gonna be more tutorials after this. I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do. I know a couple of people have have asked me to do um to do other stuff. So I may do, but. Yeah, if any of you guys have got ideas, then send me a message on YouTube. Okay, thanks.